Hello, my name is Tony Riggs and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at processing a part to print on your Stratasys 3D printer using Insight software. The first thing we're going to do is go to File Open and go out and browse for an STL file. When this part comes in, we may not like the default orientation, so we're going to look at ways to change the orientation of our part. My favorite way is to come in and use this drop down for the orient tool. We can come in and maybe choose the top option and then come down and pick a facet on the part. That will point that facet towards the top of the build envelope. Another way that we can do that is to come in and just use the rotate tool and by default we've got a 90 degree increment and come in and maybe rotate about the z-axis or the x-axis or the y-axis. So if we're happy with this orientation and come back and hit this icon and back us back up to the main screen and let's take a look at how this modeler is set up. Right now we're set up for a Fortis 250MC with a 10,000 slice and we're going to maybe come in and start off with a solid build. If we're happy with the orientation we can just come in and hit the green flag to go in and slice up the part. It also figures out where it needs support material and basically builds the NC file to send to the machine to control the head as it lays down material. We can come in look at a top view of the part and we can even right click and go down to shade tool paths. The white material is the support material and the green material is the model material. As we hit the page up button we can see the layers of the model material alternating back and forth as we walk up through the part and there's a little bit of support material for the opening. If we come in and look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we've got the log button. This will give us another way to find out how much the build time is. So this is going to be 2 hours and 4 minutes and use 1.04 cubic inches of model material and 0.3 cubic inches of support material. Maybe we want to take a look at a couple of different options we can change. Instead of using a solid build for the interior, we can use one of the sparse builds. High density is going to be closer packed together and low density is going to be spread out a bit. So if we change that over and re-green flag the part and override the existing tool paths, it's going to go through and re-slice things. And we can come up and look at the, the sparse nature of the part where it's actually coming in and putting down a spread out grid of material inside the part come over and look at the log file again. We only knocked down a couple minutes on the build time but we took 0.2 cubic inches of model material away. If we're happy with that we can come over and hit the build uh, option send this to the machine Houston 250. That's going to fire up control center. When we get into control center we've got the ability to move the part around in the build platform We've also got the ability to maybe come in and yeah, let's make three or four of these guys. So we can move them around however we like. And if we're connected to the machine, we can say build job. And this will send the part to the printer just like it would a regular network printer. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the basic processing of parts with the Insight software. And again, this is Tony Riggs. From Go Engineer and look for other videos on the Insight software in the future.